so we'll discuss active directory partitions in this section okay so what is active directory it is a microsoft server operating system role okay so how will you install the active directory you will go you will go to server manager you will select this option add rows and features in server rows you will get this option active directory domain services so it is a server role of microsoft server operating system so guys a directory service such as active directory domain services provides a method for storing directory data and making this data available to the network users so active directory services it it stores the data and it provides the data to the users and administrators for example adds stores the information about user accounts such as name password phone number so on and enables authorized users on the same network to access this information so it will store some information and it will provide the information to the users and administrators which what kind of information like username telephone number passwords and everything so this data store is also known as directory contains the information about the directory objects these objects typically include shared resources such as servers volumes printers and the network users and computer accounts so all the active directory information is saved in ntds.dit file so what is this ntds.dit file it is a database of active directory what is the database of active directory ntds.dit so we have discussed active directory saves some information so where is this information saved where is this data saved in a database called ntds.dit file okay ntds stands for new technology directory services dit stands for directory information tree so guys if you remember this path while we installing the active directory okay for database folder it will save this database folder in c windows ntds file log files log files folder okay what is this it stores the log files of active directory and this is the folder c windows ntds sys vol it will have the policy information it stores the policies of active directory and this is the path c windows sys vol so if you see here ntds this is the database of active active directory and this is the path let me show you c windows ntds okay this is the folder where the database is saved okay guys this is the database if you right click properties and it is 664.4 mb the size current size is 66.4 mb okay the default size when we install the active directory the default size of active directory is 18 mb and it gets increased when we save the data and guys this active directory is having four logical portions okay it is this active directory is divided in or that it is like this one it is having four portions so in the first portion it is a schema portion partition you can say schema partition 
and the second partition is called as configuration partition. And the third partition is called domain partition. And the fourth partition is called as application partition. So let us see what is the use of these four partitions. So it is having four logical partitions and each partition has its own name and information. So you can see schema partition, configuration partition, domain partition and application partition. So let us see what is the use of these four partitions. First, we'll see the schema partition. So what is this schema partition contain? It contains rules and definition of definition information. Let us try to understand what is the meaning of this rules and definitions information. This schema partition define the layout of database. It defines what can be stored in the Active Directory database. Okay, it defines the layout of schema partition or the, uh, what do you say? The definitions, rules and definitions of the schema, okay? Let us see the configuration partition. What is the use of this configuration partition? This configuration partition contains the logical structure of Active Directory information, like what is DC, okay? ADC, child domain and trust. It will have the logical structure of all the domains of your forest. So this partition contain the configuration information of whole forest. For example, it contains the information about sites in the forest partition defined in the Active Directory database. Okay, so it will have the information about the complete forest, how many domains are there, how many Active Directories, how many additional domain controllers are there. You will get this information. And we have domain partition. This partition contains a specific domain object information. So in ms.com, we have created users, clients, groups, and OUs. This information will be saved in domain partition. User, client, groups, and OUs. This information will be saved in the domain partition. And we have application partition. So guys, Windows servers are having some services like DNS, DSCP, WDS, etc. So these services information is available in the application partition. Application partition means service. It contains the integrated services with Active Directory. Whatever the services are integrated, whatever the services are there in Active Directory, it, it will have this information. Active Directory has some applications like DNS, DSCP, etc. So this application information is there in application partition. 